In this work, we present situational graphs for robot navigation in structured indoor environments. S-graph generates online and real-time a three-layered hierarchical factor graph representing a scene graph using robot odometry and 3D LiDAR measurements. The lowest layer consists of the robot tracking layer following the planar metric semantic layer and our novel topological layer consisting of rooms and corridors, optimizing the robot pose and the environmental map. We demonstrate our approach on data sets collected by a mobile-legged robot on simulated as well as real construction and office environments. Figure 2 demonstrates the system architecture which takes as input robot odometry and 3D LiDAR measurements. The LiDAR measurements are first pre-filtered and passed to a plane extraction sub-module. The robot odometry is used to construct the robot tracking layer, while the detected planar surfaces compose the metric semantic and topological layer, which along with the loop closure constraint are jointly optimized to obtain accurate pose estimates and finer 3D maps. Figure 3 presents an example of the S-graph with all the generated nodes at a given time instant and their respective constraints. While figure 4 demonstrates the S-graph generated real-time during the execution of a simulated experiment. In all the recorded data sets, S-graph obtains state-of-the-art results over other LiDAR SLAM-based approaches. Progressing further in this video, we present execution results of the S-graph on real-world datasets. On construction floor 2, the robot was navigated randomly for three rounds, detecting and mapping the planar walls and constraining them using the appropriate room nodes. The viewer can appreciate the quality of 3D reconstruction by our S-graph after the three rounds are performed by the robot, whereas the 3D reconstruction by the baseline algorithm. In long corridor dataset, the robot traverses a long corridor back and forth, mapping the planar walls and using the corridor node to constrain them. Due to the large error in the robot's odometry over time, planar matching shows inaccuracies mapping newer planes for the same wall. The corridor constraint merges these duplicate planes, resulting in a more accurate robot pose and cleaner 3D maps. Similar experiment is performed on construction floor 1, moving the robot randomly for 4 rounds. We further validate the accuracy of our S-graphs on larger environments. In large environment 1, the robot navigates through a squared hallway with 4 corridors, mapping planar nodes while constraining these nodes using their corresponding corridor nodes. As the robot returns to the initial point, the scan matching based loop closure constraint is incorporated further optimizing the robot pose and the entire S-graph. Large environment 2 consists of an environment with random distribution of corridors which are identified and mapped along with their corresponding planar walls.
As the robot returns to its initial point, the viewer can observe the loop closure constraint, further refining the pose and the map accuracy. Thank you for your attention.